Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Leos for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo. So I am seeing some light green energy. And I feel like this is a new connection. A fresh love, a fresh connection here. Um, you might be feeling pretty giddy about it. There may be a little bit of a honeymoon phase going on here. But it feels good. It does feel like it's in the adolescent phases, but that's okay. Leo. All right, Leo. Ooh, whoa, we've got, we've got flyers here. All right. Um... All right, Leo. So, whoa, two. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so here we go. You've got some flyers here. Uh, you've got the devil and the page of swords. These are in reverse. So these are energies that I feel like are being released over the month. There could have been some energies of being watchful, uh, because of fear surrounding a situation. So if you have recently connected with someone new, um, it could be a Capricorn, it could be a Libra. It doesn't have to be either of those. But if you are connecting with someone new, I feel like you might have been watching this person for some time or you might be watching this person over the month of November um, or at least sometime in November. Justice is going to be served here in the sense that, you know, waiting or taking a break, respite is over and uh, scoping someone out because of fear or ego or whatever could be coming to an end. Okay, you could be really releasing that energy and potentially moving forward with someone, with this person. All right, Leo, let's shuffle up some more. Yeah, now I'm seeing yellow. So I feel like there's illumination. Yellow often talks about the sun and the sun can mean your energy. You're, you're ruled, your ruling planet is the sun. Um, illumination, uh, direct and decisive action, willpower with yellow, okay? Bright, sunny, jovial, happy. I really feel like there's illumination that's going to come to you, potentially, that could really <laughs> make you feel like you're on cloud nine in a way, which could be nice. 
One more shuffle for you, Leo. And then I'm going to cut the deck here. Oops. And let's see what we've got. Overall energy. Good Lord. The Four of Cups. So uh, currently you might be feeling some unrequited love. You might be not really taking an offer that could be handing, handed to you. At the same time, though, what I'm getting here, which is weird, you could not be offering someone for fear of rejection. Offering something to someone for fear of rejection, okay? Just Or just not really sure. And that's lining up with the energies that came out with the flyer here. You're feeling unsure. You could be, if you're feeling unsure about something or someone that's trying to come forward for you, um, you've got ego and fear and kind of some devil energy wrapped up in it. And so... Um, that needs to be released. And this energy of, you know, well, let me just scope them out for a little bit longer to see what they're about. I feel like some of you might be playing a game with someone, making someone wait or making someone try over and over again to see if they're really serious about something. And all right, I kind of get it. But at the same time, that could backfire. <laughs> that really could be backfiring. Um, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. You've got the nine of pentacles and you've got the six of wands often this is your energy in my opinion but i feel like a victory is coming okay someone is trying to come in here with the knight of pentacles this could be an air sign i just saw four 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 on the counter i'm not uh, on the counter i'm sorry not an air sign this could be an earth sign taurus um gemini capricorn also could be an air sign because I wanted to just say Libra and Libra did come out in the flyers with justice, but it doesn't have to be either. It could be any sign really, but someone is really trying to come in here and I feel like they're being slow and steady with it. So if you are, if you are playing some sort of game with someone uh, where they're like, they're trying to come in and maybe, you know, take you out on a date or get to know you in some way and you're kind of not really rejecting them, but not really accepting the offer either. I feel like they're playing along, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and say that they may not play along forever. I'm not going to, don't expect them to play that game forever. Okay. Um, and you do have the nine of pentacles. So this is autonomy. This is independence. This is freedom. This is singlehood. This is the bachelor bachelorette card. Um, someone is really stable and ready in their lives for a commitment. Okay. Someone has either put themselves in this position, and this really could be the person that's coming, trying to come towards you, Leo, or you are in the process of putting yourself in that in this position in order to accept any sort of offer that's coming through. So that could be why you're you got this four of cups here right now because you're not you may not be quite ready to accept this offer. You may want a little more independence, maybe a little more free time, freedom to yourself before you like jump into something with someone. But ultimately, you have the six of wands here. So this is a victory. All right. Yeah. This is also could be this someone that's trying to come around to you, like puffing themselves up, trying to say, hey, I'm here. You manifested me. You called me in. Well, I'm here now. Yeah. I'm also getting, uh, for some of you who, uh, if you may have been, if you're newly single, then this is that victory lap, that victory energy, okay, that you might be feeling surrounding that. Alrighty, first set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month, we've got, woo-wee, the five of swords. Conflict, shit starter energy, one-upmanship. Um... But this is, it's interesting. I'm getting an energy of just being very defensive and fighting everyone off in order to protect yourself in some way. So you might be coming out of a pretty rough situation in the past, or for some reason, you're just feeling like you need to fight. Five of Swords is coupled with, wow, Judgment. A lot of the similar cards are coming out between Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. But Judgment. Resurrection. I feel like if you're coming out of a situation that was really tumultuous, very much um, combative, one-upmanship, like that kind of thing, there is a resurrection happening surrounding that, okay? You're coming out of that energy. You're being reborn. 
out of that situation. And this could be why someone is needing some more time for independence because they're actively rising from the death. <laughs> rising from the dead, the death or transformation that they're going through. Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month. Yeah, look, you got the Six of Swords. So someone is really moving forward, moving towards calmer waters. So I really feel like some of you Leos or someone that you're connecting with Leo um, is coming out of a tough situation. Six of Swords is coupled with the Two of Swords. So because of that, now there's indecision. Now there is, um, someone might be purposefully blindfolding themselves to external situations, not really wanting to see what's around them. Um, but also because of this transition that's happening, there is an indecisive energy, not re like refusing to make a decision right now. So again, that could be why you got this Four of Cups energy, okay? The challenge for the first half of the month, you got death. See, what did I say? Transformation. This is the challenge right now. This also could be Scorpio season because the sun is going to be in Scorpio until the end of November, around the 21st or the 22nd, something like that. I don't know the exact date. But um, so this is the challenge is surmounting Scorpio season, okay? Going through this transformation. Death is coupled with the Three of Cups. Um, what I'm feeling here is like in the long run, this transformation is going to be much better with, for you than you think. And I feel like this transformation is really going to put you in alignment with some sort of soul family or um, social setting, setting or something. But um, ultimately what the universe is saying with the challenge being death and the Three of Cups this transformation that you're going through is going to lead to celebration and, and a victory. And here you go. You've got the Six of Wands underneath the deck, okay? The potential outcome for the first half of your month, the Three of Wands. So this transformation is setting you up for a return on some sort of investment. And I feel like that return on the investment could have been something you put effort into in the past. And what you're coming out of now, what you're transforming through is going to set you up for this in return on the investment to come in, okay? Three of Wands is coupled with, aha, the Nine of Wands. So you're really persevering with something. You really want something. And I feel like you may not have been able to achieve that in whatever situation or energies you care, you're coming out of. So you're really fighting hard to... Keep your guard up to protect your space in order for this return on the investment to come through, okay? For the second half of your month, the first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Seven of Swords. Woo-wee! 11-11 on the counter. My, my. Deception. Not being quite honest and upfront about something. There could be a situation where you might be connecting with someone, but you're not giving the whole truth. There are still some things that you're holding back from this person. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Eight of Cups. Okay, so in the second half of your month, you still could be dealing with moving away from a situation that you were, you were able to achieve, like an Eight of Cups situation, but it wasn't quite enough. So this could be why you're still being kind of deceptive here in the second half of the month, okay? Now, this also could be walking away from a situation or at least finally walking away from a situation for good because of Seven of Swords energy, lies, cheating, backstabbing, deception, theft, whatever it may be, however it resonates with you. It's something that is not beneficial, okay? Um, and ultimately, that would be why you were walking away from it, should that part of the re message resonate with you. But also, I'm again, I'm getting an energy of some of you, some of you may still be in the process of moving away from something. Now, it could also be in the beginning of the month, you are being called to walk away from something, to move away from something, but you're not quite seeing it yet or you're refusing to make action, take action here with the Two of Swords. So now in the second half of the month, you finally actually do walk away. You could be doing it in a secretive manner, or you could just be doing it because you deceived yourself in some way, or you were deceived in some way by thinking or by not taking action when the call was being made, 
okay? Because there's a judgment call that's being made here in relation to Five of Swords, petty shit starter energy, all right? You might want to watch the Gemini video. You might be connecting with a Gemini here because that type of situation did come out for Gemini, okay? Um, and Leo did pop up in the Gemini reading in the form of the Six of Wands. All right. The second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, you've got the Tower. Yeah. See, now you this can go one of two ways, Leo, or Cross Watcher. Either you can dismantle the tower yourself or you can allow the, the universe to do it for you. But it's going to be more painful if you allow the universe to do it for you and it's going to be a sudden shock. Now, it also, you dismantling the tower yourself could be a sudden shock for others around you and it still could be pretty painful. But ultimately, the best thing about the tower is this is Mars energy. So this is creative energy. So whatever you're taking down is clearing space for something new to come in. The return on your investment here with the three of wands. The tower is coupled with the seven of cups. Now, in facing this tower moment, there could be... I'm seeing the seven of cups as needing to let the dust settle. Okay, now that the tower has been stricken, now that the tower has been brought down in a fairly forceful manner, all right? And that is resonating or re, uh, um, reiterating the message of someone might need a little more time to heal, but also some time alone, some time as a single independent individual before they're willing to accept any sort of new offer, okay? The challenge for the second half of the month, you've got... The Hierophant, you could be connecting with a Taurus, but also this could talk about commitment here. The challenge is work could be working your way towards a commitment. The challenge could be accepting an offer from a Taurus. The Hierophant is coupled with the star. The star. And I really feel like this challenge here in the second half of your month is aligning with your wish of True, honest, real commitment, potentially. The challenge also could be here learning something new in order to facilitate wish fulfillment and or healing with the star. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. The potential outcome for your second half of the month, you've got woof, the Queen of Swords, discernment. And it's so interesting um, because the Queen of Swords came out in the same position for Cancer. You could be a Cancer Leo Cusper in that sense. And cancer, you the, you might be res you might be connecting with a Cancer because of that fact that because this came out in the same position. Um, but this is discernment. This is cutting the bullshit. This is no time for games. No time for drama. Uh, the Queen of Swords could also be a divorcee. So this really could be someone that's coming out of a marriage. There could be a, um, a divorce happening, or you could be recently divorced, or you're coming out of a long-term commitment, which could almost feel like a divorce in some cases, right? Queen of Swords is coupled with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, balance. Patience also. You could need to be, like, if you're connecting with a Leo right now, you need you could need to be patient with this person uh, while they get their self, while they get themselves together, while they get all balanced out. Or you could just be, you know, if you're the Leo here or you're just connecting with someone that's adopting this Queen of Swords energy, you could really just need to be patient. Or if you're adopting the Queen of Swords energy, you might need to be patient with another person or with yourself. But balance is coming into the situation, okay? Great. All right, Leo. So let's get into your Oracle Guidance here for the month of November. Uh-oh. Okay. Leo, November 2018. See what we've got for you, Leo, for November 2018. 
Here we go. Underneath the deck, you have goddess. All right. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Okay. That's definitely a message for someone that's coming out of a situation. Okay. And then other than that, you have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. And that really could be what you're doing here with the Queen of Swords. All right, setting strong boundaries. But also there's an energy of not being afraid if something new is coming in, okay? You are safe. Fear is an illusion, all right? So you may need to have the courage to accept this offer that's coming in. Underneath the deck, though, for the Tarot, you have the Six of Wands, and that is a good sign. Just don't let your pride and your ego get in the way. I feel like that could be a lot of the reason why someone may not be accepting an offer, pride and ego. But ego could also talk, speak to fear around the situation. Yeah? Okay, Leo, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I look forward to connecting with you, guys, with you guys again for the month of December. And I want to wish all of us here in the United States a very happy Thanksgiving. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.